Welcome to my paralogue walkthrough of The Forgotten. This is Sylvain's paralogue. Now, Sylvain must definitely come with you on this mission, as, as you may expect. But, you now get to take a total of 11 of, well, technically 10, because, well, Byleth must come along on this mission. Bring in whoever you want. I'm just using the Golden Deer house because, well, I can. Don't forget to take a look at the map. Because you will see there are quite a lot of units to t take care of. And they are all in very different locations. Now with that under the way... Let's begin the fight. The victory conditions route the enemy, so you will have to defeat every single enemy on the map. And your defeat conditions, Sylvain falls in battle. Pretty standard paralogue. Okay, we've got the thieves covered on. Some of the thieves are gotta be careful to target the strongholds. That so what Sylvain means by strongholds are basically the stronghold tiles. So you've got one here, Another there. Another here. And one here. They basically function as heal tiles as well, so these leaders will be able to stand on them and recover. I stand ready. They can be pretty powerful. Let's see if I, I can actually can I can I can reach him. Oop. Again, I'm using power, more powerful units. Just remember, take the strong. Okay, that's very good. Now, you might have seen those pink squares. Oh, I'm not showing that very well. These pink squares on the map, and how one disappeared. Basically, the thieves, after they are done pillaging, or really after they're done, will retreat into these pink squares and disappear. Now. It's not necessarily mandatory that you take down everybody because, well, the thieves will just go in here one by one. But Ready and if you are able to take down any of the thieves, and I mean this seriously, as your reward increases the more thieves you're able to take down. So it's never a bad idea to take down every thief. That's one more struck. There are still some. Leave it to me. Of course, be really reasonable in how you Ready. approach this because, well, you can't satisfy everybody. Yeah, I was hoping for a crit, but I guess it was his day. No matter. Magnificent. Oops, I just used a super powerful spell. Again, no matter. Who? Me? Who me? I guess it worked out. Stay focused. That is that. Let us away. My Sylvain actually has no item, so he's going to stay back. Now, don't worry if you're not able to reach the thief leaders right away. It's not necessarily mandatory that you have to get to them in one turn. It's not as easy as it looks. I just happen to have a few units who are already at the master class level. You can buy master seals at this point stage in the game and some of them 
Well, sometimes I just lucked out too that they were strong enough to take down, say, a, a bandit leader in one turn. That normally doesn't happen if you're at the recommended level, which is fine, by the way. Everyone gets to a paralogue at very different points of the, of the game, and you don't have to finish these paralogues until the second, the twenty-second of the second month. So, really, you've got plenty of time. It's not a, it's not a contest. Oops. That was not smart. I stand ready. You can finish off a unit, finish them off. Don't. Don't extend, don't extend a battle longer than it needs to in this map. It can take a while. Leave it to me. You underestimated me. Ready anytime. Another escape, take out those thieves. Now what happens when you capture that last stronghold? Now the units can no longer escape. My brother will be pleased. And your goal is now just simply to take out every single unit that's left. Me? Which is not bad. So it doesn't really matter what Sylvain does. off the units at the bottom so that there's no one leaking over and have everybody rush on in. Now, the bandits have some pretty good items if you're able to finish them off before they jump, before they run away. So if you're able to make, to get there on time, I highly suggest trying to take out all of those bandits. Positives pretty much outweigh the negatives if you're able to. But again, if you can't, you can't. It's not a race. Well, I mean, okay, it is somewhat of a race, but... As you can see, the thieves are more focused on fleeing once they've got items. I think that doesn't mean, however, that they are... Going to just roll over and let you fight them. If you pose enough of a threat, they will engage you. That's the golden deer for you. Or you're blocking a simple exit. Huh, it worked out. Now let me just finish off this last guy. Hopefully I counted right and he's last. And the paralogue is over! At least we've restored Obviously, as I mentioned before, your reward will depend on how many units you defeated and didn't escape. Because if they did escape, well, your reward is less. That is the forgotten wall paralogue walkthrough in a nutshell. Just take your time and defeat the enemy as you need to. If some of them have to leave the map because you can't get to them in time, don't stress about it. Your reward is not massive enough for you to care about. It's more important that your units stay alive, bunch up together, and defeat as many enemies as possible. But if you can, take out the four enemy commanders at the strongholds to stop anyone from fleeing, and then just take them out. I hope you enjoyed this paralogue walkthrough. If you 
enjoyed this video, please do subscribe to my channel. There will be more videos like this in the future. Until then, thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you in my next Paralog walkthrough.